Hey guys, it's Otom here, and welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. Now, in the last episode, what did we do? What did we do? It always takes me a second to remember because obviously I've got the streams and then I've got the videos, and I always get mixed up because the yeah the videos, the recording days are like you know a few days apart, but like usually they're closer to the streams, so it gets confusing sometimes. But we'll see as soon as it loads where I was. I think. We, yeah, so we've got the ring, the key, the card, the mask, a small first egg. So we've definitely been to the refinery. Uh, it looks like we're infinite hallways, is this? Yeah, okay, so we're at the infinite hallways. So I would have to assume that we have to get to the, uh, not like we're already in like containment, uh, entrance zone, that's what I'm trying to think of. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to guess... That we've got to get to the light. Uh, I forgot to take to the entrance zone. I keep saying light containment zone. Also, we almost just died there. I got stuck as I was turning in the fucking Tesla gate, which could have been pretty bad if I got stuck for more than a second, like I did. But luckily, we didn't. You know, while we're here, I might. Oh no, can't leave that open. While we're here, what the fuck? Oh, it's the lag. I was like, where is that coming in the ceiling? Oh my god. But no, it's not. It's, uh. It was just the lamp. Right, we'll put the ring on. I'm going to get the hand. Get the spooky hand. Go back up the stairs. And then we're all good. If I go past the refinery, then I'll use the hand. But if not, then I probably won't bother. Alright, we're good. Alright. So, yeah. Basically, short version of what I just said is... We've just... Why am I doing that? I don't need to do that. We just need to get to the entrance zone, do the electricity, and you probably know the rest from there. If you don't know the rest from there, basically we have to go turn the electricity off, then turn it back... No, sorry. Turn it off, talk to the computer, then turn it back on, and then we can leave. If In case you don't know. But yeah, so... Good stuff. Not too hard. But not too simple at the same time. Because we are on Keter mode. So it's going to be a little bit difficult. With you know the soldiers being so accurate. 173 being everywhere. 106 spawning constantly. But we've done it before. We can do it again. So hopefully the monsters won't get us. See here we go. Heavy containment. Speaking of monsters. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go. I don't feel I've ever done so much walking in my life. I walked 7 fucking kilometers today. 7 kilometers. Just to find some Pokemon. <laughs> I went from my house to the sort of local park. Past that park to the second park near my house. Well, I say near my house. Um, then I went back through the first park. Back past my house into a smaller park. All the way through the woods until I came out on the other side of the woods on the main road. And then followed the main road all the way back home to my house. And I ended up walking, I think it was 7.2 kilometers in total. And I hatched like... Oh! Jesus Christ! The fuck? That's creepy as hell. Okay. Oh, shit, the lizard. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I ended up walking like 7.2 or 7.3 kilometers in total. I hatched like two or three eggs. And I think I ended up catching 51 Pokemon, so... I'd say it was pretty successful. And I didn't get stabbed or killed. That's the, that's the best part. But, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Alright. We're going to have to wait here and just hope that he goes. Get the bio suit or whatever. Now, if I remember rightly, if you open this door with the suit on, it explodes, cuts the suit open, and still infects you. But people told me that it doesn't. I'm going to save... Uh, actually, no. I'm not going to save and quit in case 106 gets it. Okay. He's gone. <laughs> I'm going to save and quit. Just to see, because some people say, were saying, oh, it cuts you and you get infected. Some people say, no, if you've got the hazmat suit on, it won't matter, blah, blah, blah. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, so I walked 7.2 kilometers. I caught 51 Pokemon, visited, I think it was like 24 Pokestop, Pokestops, and as I was coming back to my house, I caught like a 420. CP Hypno, which is like quite good.
Oh, shit, I loaded the wrong save. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought YouTube would get moved to the top because it was the most recent save, but apparently it just must be alphabetical because it was still at the bottom. But yeah, so 7.2 kilometers, 51 Pokemon, 20... I think it was like 25-ish. I should say 25, make it easier. Oh, fucking hell, hello. Yeah, so uh, 25 Pokestops, and I got like... I think like something like 70 Pokeballs because I leveled up as well. And every time you level up, you get like 15 Pokeballs. So I ended up getting like, I think when, by the time I got home. Is it going to shut? Oh, I have to use my hands. Hey, I did it. All right. People weren't lying. It doesn't explode anymore. Nice. Good stuff. We did it. We contained a virus. We contained the zombie virus. I'm proud. I'm proud of us. Oh, God. So, yeah. It used to be you open the door, and as you walk through the door, it, it goes, like, it does an explosion. It says, oh, a piece of metal cuts open the hazmat suit, and you get infected, blah, blah, blah. But now it looks like if you're wearing the hazmat suit, you walk in, shut the lid, and that's it. Contained. So, there you go. We contained an SCP. Good stuff. Oh, but, oh, crap. Run past him. Is he going to spin up? DJ. Spin that shit? Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's so weird. But yeah, so the short version is it was a really successful trip because uh, it was quite a long walk, but I got just over 50 Pokemon a shitload of Pokeballs, a shitload of items, and about 9 or 10 of the Pokemon were quite high level for my level. Like, for my trainer level, the Pokemon I caught were, like, quite high. So, it was a good trip. It was a good game. I'm really enjoying it so far. I did start a new account because, um, there were, like, reports about, oh, if, if you sign up to play Pokemon Go with your Google account, there's, like, a big security risk. Someone could hack into Pokemon Go and then through Pokemon Go, they could get into your email account. And then obviously your email account's got access to other accounts like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Uh, so I, I actually... There's two options when you play Pokemon Go. You can sign in with your Google account. Or you can make a brand new Pokemon Trainer Club account on Pokemon.com. Or obviously if you've already got an account on Pokemon.com, you can sign in using that. So I signed out on my Google... Oh, this could be entrance zone. Oh, oh fucking hell, let me jump. Uh... So I signed out on my Google account, went onto Pokemon... Oh shit, it's like containment. I signed out on my Google account, went onto Pokemon.com, made a Pokemon Trainer Club account, went back onto Pokemon Go, signed in with my new Pokemon.com Trainer Club account, made a new character, started again at level 1, and after one single journey, I was level 8 again, bearing in mind my original Google account was like level 9. So, in one single journey, I caught up my new account to my old account, and now the new account is my main account. Because even though apparently they... Oh, by the way, they resolved the Google issue, so don't panic if you're like, oh no, I'm quickly signing out. Like, they resolved the issues with security. But, um... Oh, what? He instantly spawned! Oh, this is... This looks very green. A lot greener than usual. Oh, I just realised, yeah, shit, we're here. Oh, no, wait, or do you always go here, and then you go to the hallway, right? I can't remember. Guess we'll find out. But yeah, they resolved the, um... Oh, yeah, now we're here. They, uh, resolved the issues with the Google security stuff, like, an hour after I read it, so I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, I've made a new account, gone for a walk, caught my new account up, but now my old one's valid again. But I thought, you know what? Even if they have fixed... That's not a word. Haved. <laughs> Even if they have fixed the issues with the Google stuff... Ah! Um, even if they have fixed the issues with the Google security, I feel like having a direct Pokemon.com account is still going to be more secure than having just another account linked to Google. I might be wrong. Probably doesn't work like that. But um, I feel like maybe having a direct link... Uh, sorry, having a direct 
account on the actual Pokemon website is going to be more secure than just using your Google account kind of thing. Oh, God, that was close. Oh, that actually got the guess. Yeah, got us. Okay. Shit. <laughs> well, that's not very good. Load game. But yeah, so the short version is Google had security issues. So I made a new account using the second option you can do to make an account. Uh, I leveled that new account up to catch it up with the old account. And now it's actually taken over. I think it's level 10 now. But uh, So the new account got it to level 7. Oh, wait, we need to do this. Got the new account to level 7. Oh. I must have saved. No, I didn't save again. No oh, weird. I must just remember somehow. That's pretty weird. Um, yeah, so. Made a new account because I was worried. The new account is now level. I think now it's level 10. But after that one journey it was level 7. Which was. Um, oh, I turned around. Mouse, what the fuck? You didn't do it. I went uh, with my mouse because I heard the noise and it just decided not to. God damn it. Uh, yeah, so now that account is level 10, which is past my original account. And then I got back in from the journey and read that, oh, the Google security issues are now fixed. I was like, for fuck's sake. <coughs> I could have easily used my Google account. And instead of getting from level 1 to level 10, I could have got from level 10 to like level 13 or something like that. And there you go. But anyway, so... I'm going to shut up about Pokemon Go now, because I really didn't talk about it for the whole fucking episode. But it's, just, it's a change. I usually just talk about specifically what game I'm playing. And I feel like sometimes that can get a bit... A bit repetitive, maybe? So I thought, you know, let's talk about something that's, you know... Currently going on in the world, and this, you know, people might be interested in and possibly have an opinion on. So, there you go. The short version of all of that is, and I know I've said the short version a lot of times, but this one really is the short version. The short version of all of that is, I got worried about Google being hacked, made a new account, went for a 7 kilometer walk, got some good Pokemon, got home, and realised, shit, I could have used my old account, but I'm going to keep the new one anyway, because it's probably more secure, because it's directly on the Pokemon website, and that is it. That wasn't that short, but it was shorter than all the rest, so there you go. <laughs> oh, sorry if you don't give a shit about Pokemon, I'm really just trying to... Keep something, you know, keep some form of conversation going while I run through this facility that is a fucking labyrinth. Okay, good. We crouched in time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to keep... I'm just trying to keep the commentary going while I run through this fucking labyrinth of a facility trying to fucking escape because otherwise I'd run out of things to talk about. If I was always specifically talking about the game that I'm playing and what I'm doing at that moment. Eventually it would get repetitive. Yes. <laughs> and I would run out of things to talk about. 360, fuck you, boom. Yeah, oh shit, that was like a 720. Bear got double no-scoped. <laughs> oh, man. And it's not a dead end. It is a miracle. Save and quit. Load game, it's the bottom one. But yeah, if I only spoke about the what I was doing in the game at that moment, the commentary could get quite repetitive. So I thought, you know what, let's talk about something that's going on outside of this game that people may be interested in and have an opinion on. And there you go, that's what happened. And hopefully this is the electric center. Okay, there's... <coughs> oh, there's the... Um... Ah, game, what the hell? There's the weed room back there. Oh god, too many beep boops. You know what, I'll go this way first. Oh my god, please, stop speaking. Too many, too many beep boops. No more. Right, I think this is a dead end, because the door looks red. No? It's, right, that's the forest, which probably leads to the gates. Unless they're on this side, in which case it will probably lead to the electrical center. Because from experience... The electrical center and the gates are usually on opposite sides of the forest. Oh god, I almost looked at the screen. So, uh... From experience, I'd say whatever's on this side of the forest... Will, the, the other... You know, the opposite will be on... The other side. So if we find some gates, it's more than... Ah! Always get me with the fucking gunshots. 
I was like, why is that door opening? And then I was like, oh, that's why. And then we got fucking shot and electrocuted. So, well, there you go. How long have we been recording? Oh, shit, we've gone over. Okay, he's still fucking blabbing about Pokemon Go. Random fact that I just thought of. The word electrocuted, people use it wrong. Because they're, if you get an electric shock from something, you're like, oh, it electrocuted me. Electrocuted is a combination of the words electricity and executed. So, electrocuted means that you die from an electric shock. So when people say, oh, it electrocuted me, technically they're lying. Because if it electrocuted them, they'd be dead. But anyway, I don't know why I just thought, well, I thought of it because of the Tesla gate. But anyway, that was really random. But you never know, it might come in handy. Someone might put a gun to your head and say, what does electrocuted mean? Define it or I'll kill you. And then you'll be like, oh, Tom, you saved my life. You, you never know. I was very doubtful, but you never know. But anyway, that'll be it for today. Sorry if the rambling was annoying, but I, I just... I was trying to, you know, commentate as you do. Just, just commentate. Keep, keep things interesting. Keep things flowing. Try and keep the video entertaining so people don't get bored and try and hunt me down and kill me and send death threats, things like that. Not that I get that, luckily. But anyway, like I said, that will be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe to the channel for more videos. There will be more SCP Containment Breach as well as many other videos throughout the week as well. Feel free to leave uh, suggestions in the comments below for Random Games Sunday. They're always appreciated. And uh, obviously, any other comments you want to leave as well, they're all accepted. Well, mostly, you know, no obvious stuff. But uh, yeah, any of that stuff would be massively appreciated. And I'll be a super best friend for if you do any of it. Uh, yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.